Tiffany, and I just turned 55 last October. Okay. And how long have you lived in Grants Pass? Um, since about a week or two before 9-11. Okay, so it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> Um, and do you have a disability? I have PTSD with high anxiety and high depression. Yeah. And severe anger issues. Yeah. And, you, and I hate the anger issues. I really hate being angry. Yeah. It's hard. Really hard to deal with those. It um, seems to be that that's growing more than not. Lately. Yeah. You know, out of frustration and out of, um, two steps forward and 20 steps back or 50 steps back at most times it feels like yeah so yeah and when we've talked previously um you have some physical mm -hmm. you know i have issues with my right shoulder um they're still not sure they think it's tendons or um possibly rotator cuff messed mm -hmm. up i also have issues with migraines um vertigo mm-hmm um, which has extremely gotten worse since I've been on the street. Um, I have, um, I've fallen like counting last time, last week, it was uh, four times in the last two months, three months. Yeah. Um, so my left knee is extremely bit messed up. Um, can't even once I thought it was getting to heal and then I fall again exactly and um now I'm having issues with my right hip because of falls yeah um I'm basically falling apart from yeah. that oh. yeah so, um and can you briefly explain how you became homeless um I lost my job because of the depression mm -hmm. um it got worse and worse and I couldn't seem to get out of it it was like it's like dark hole that you just you know there's no light there's no nothing mm -hmm. and no matter how hard you try to climb out of that hole it doesn't go away and yeah I ended up losing my job because of it yeah and I moved in with my brother one of my brothers um and because he doesn't usually like small dogs and my little one right here um likes to bark <laughs> as most little dogs do and he said either he goes or you don't come back so I didn't come back yeah, um, yeah. He, I've had him since he was nine weeks old and he is a part of me he's my little boy mm -hmm. and yeah I don't rough. I don't regret leaving but yet I wish I had a place that I didn't have to yeah deal with all those deal things with all that stuff yeah and go on the street and that yeah but, yeah so He's, when did you, how long have you been homeless now? A little over a year. As of March, it was a year. Okay. Okay. And do you have an addiction? Um, other than chocolate or <laughs> sugar or <laughs> coffee. coffee? Yeah. No. All the fun ones. <laughs> All the fun ones, yeah. I could do that, yeah. yeah. I'm a junk food junkie, if anything. Yeah, yeah. But um, other than that, no. Okay. And where would you like to be in a year's time? In my own home, doing my jewelry and other craft stuff that I love to do. Yeah. Which helps with my PTSD and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, matter of fact, one of the ones I'm wearing here are ones I made. Aww. Um, I love doing those. It's yeah. So it's, it's amazing. I kind of started. And then that started with one craft out or another. And, oh, yeah. look, I could do this and that. And... So I want a space where I could do that and maybe even sell my stuff that yeah. I make. Yeah. You know, as mm -hmm. as a business because I think it's my own. I work for myself and I don't have to go through the panic attacks. Yeah. Dealing with the people and Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> um do you feel safe? No. Yeah. It's really hard to feel safe, especially when I'm single. And the only thing that does make me feel safe is these two. Yeah. Um, they warn me if they hear something. Mm -hmm. If somebody feels too aggressive or they're there, yeah. they're, they'll protect me. Yeah. So, But other than that, it is very scary for somebody like me. Mm -hmm. I'm a single person. Single woman. And, yeah. And they don't care if you're 20 or 50 or 60. No. They don't care. No. There's no age discrimination for some of these guys that are on the street 
Yeah. You know? Yeah. So our next question was, what makes you feel safe? You would sit your dogs and... My dogs would make me yeah. feel safe. Is That's what they, makes me feel yeah. safe is them. They mm-hmm. warn me. They protect me. Um, I have a walking stick that I... <laughs> And somebody yeah. he wouldn't leave me alone. I'm like, dude, seriously. But yeah. I didn't have to worry about it because these two were yeah. there. Huh. Yeah, I know. It's a hard dog life protecting mom <laughs> 124 seven days a year. No, you can't get up there. Lay down with your sister. Right here. <laughs> Lay down with your sister. Um, since becoming homeless, how has our community treated you differently versus um, when you weren't? When I was and I didn't really get noticed as much as like you know people smile and they say hi yeah i still have that once in a while but a lot of people look at me like i'm a drug addict mm-hmm. or an alcoholic um that i'm useless yep and lazy mm-hmm. um not knowing the circumstances or not knowing the person that i am mm-hmm. and my history people just assume oh you're just lazy you don't do anything yeah or whatever um a friend of mine actually when she heard that she had been on the street before and I had met her at one of the laundromats and she's helped me a lot and, and became my friend but she put on Facebook just remember that any of you are one paycheck away from landing right on the street yeah mm-hmm. that you know that one last house payment yeah. that you didn't make or mm-hmm. whatever you could yeah. be there too yeah um so it, it, it is really hard. I mean, I'll give you one instance where a um, little guy here had torn his pad mm-hmm. and finger, and I had bandaged it and everything, and I went to go give him baby aspirin, and I had cut my – I couldn't open the thing because I had cut my thumb. Mm-hmm. And a couple was going by one of the parks, um, Ogle Park over Washington and Midland, I think it is, mm-hmm. and I asked them if – one of them could open the bottle. The husband kind of paused a little bit, but he was more polite, nicer about it, and he opened it for me. But his wife literally looked at me in a tone, and like I was beneath her, and says, "Why? What is it?" Exactly that way. And I told her it's just baby aspirin for my little boy. Yeah. And she, I, when he finally opened it, I said, "See?" And I showed it to her, and she kind of went. <laughs> Yeah. You know, and I get a lot of that. Yeah. Even with me, people looking at me. No, I don't. Some people look at me like, what? You? Drugs? No way. You can yeah. tell. You don't do it. Yeah. Um, I try to keep myself clean. It's very hard. Yeah. But I still get treated like I, even if I can dress perfectly nice and I'm. Got your earrings the street, in. My everything. earrings in. Yeah. Whatever. Still. I still get treated like I'm a drug addict. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, my sense is, is just be careful because you guys will be right there. Yeah. The economy is getting so bad that. Yeah. It could happen I mean, to anyone. Um, what is the best thing that happened to you this week? Just to have a little positive. Shower! <laughs> yeah. I got a shower. <laughs> it's so hard because I'm used to taking a shower at least once a day, possibly yeah. twice. Yeah. Summertime, it's probably more than twice yeah. a day. Yeah. But being on the street, it's very, very hard. Yeah. Getting, keeping your clothes clean, you know, not having the job and stuff that you need. You depend on different things, yeah. collecting cans, generosity of some people. Yeah. You know, and, and so having clean clothes and a shower, a shower, nice, hot, warm shower running down when every part of your body aches like Hades. And your hair feels like garbage yeah. like you just sat there and got out slept in a dumpster yeah. and it yeah. felt so good just Aww. to be able to wash my hair i love my hair when it's clean even though it does have a mind of its own it goes sometimes frizzy it still is feels nice good. it, it yeah. feels good it's clean it's soft and and i don't have to go like, yeah, like, like i'm about ready to watch yep. 10 million <laughs> bugs fall off of my head yeah um <clears throat> <laughs> what would you, what three words would you use to describe being homeless? Definitely scary. Yeah. Um. But it, I mean, it is scary. You never know. 
at all where your next place you can sleep. Yeah. Because um, you constantly have to you move. Know, I can't cook, so that's huh. so that's something I miss. Yeah. And so frustrating. Frustrating. Very, very, very scary and frustrating. But also on the positive side, it's a definite eye opener. It's yeah. so enlightening. When I first got on the street, I thought, okay, what have I done to myself? Mm -hmm. Look at everything. Why am I in this position to being so, you know, why is God keeping me this way? I'm being punished, right? I'm like, yeah. And then I finally started realizing, no, you could turn it to a different positive thing and learn from it. And I have noticed that a lot of the people on the street are just like me. Yeah. Yeah. Scary, frustrating, scary, frustrating but frustrating, also enlightening. Enlightening yeah. so much. And yeah. it's just, we're human. We're just, yeah. we're no different. The only difference is, is that the place that we live or sleep is not in four walls. Yeah. Unless you got a tent, but. Yeah. Still, not. Yeah. believe you me, it's still not the same. <laughs> yeah. Those tents do not keep you dry no. all the time. What would you say is the hardest thing about being homeless? What was the hard about being homeless? Huh. So many things. Um, I would say, like I said, never knowing what each day is going to bring. Yeah. Um, not knowing what, where you're going to sleep. If you're going to have the police going, hello, got to go. Um, which happens on a daily basis. Um, it's really hard. There are some of them out there nice, but it, it is. It's hard. To not know, you know, even if some of us that are lucky enough to have food stamps and stuff, I don't have regular cash. So mm -hmm. coming up with cash is very hard. Yeah. Like I said, luckily, cans and generosity mm -hmm. of some people that uh, many people actually, believe it or not, that have been on the street. But not being able to know where you're going to be able to sleep the next yeah. time or mm -hmm. and it's a safe place yeah the safety is so much the unknown of yeah yeah the unknown of knowing not what's going to happen and mm -hmm. stuff and it, it just gets it just gets harder and harder sometimes and i try to keep positive and i've actually had people tell me that with their positive attitude, if I didn't have my stroller with me that carries all my stuff, mm -hmm. they wouldn't have known I was homeless. No. Just because mm -hmm. of the positive thing. I'm like, well, you got to be positive sometimes. And I told them, I'm not always positive. Yeah. There are days that I'm sitting there going, okay, God, you're so overpowerful. You're so merciful. But why am I here? Yeah. Why am I when I'm asking help to guide me to that place and I'm not getting that? Yeah. And... It's, it's hard. It's it is hard. It's not easy. No. And especially, what does the word home mean to you? What you say? Family. Family. Yeah. Yeah. We safety. Yeah. Um, a secure place to be able to be human again. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's. Just a place to where you can breathe and have a sanctuary, a safety net that is a, where you don't have to worry about where you're going to sleep the next time. Or Yeah. <coughs> our, our last question is, what is your biggest fear? To forever be on the street and not have our house. Yeah. Not have the safety that I want as also as losing these two. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't want to be on the street any, yeah. anymore. <laughs> I mean, I still am learning and talking to people and saying hi. And, you know, I actually have a lot of homeless friends that are really cool. Yeah. You know, they look out for each other and mm -hmm. most of them. <laughs> yeah. We look out for each other and, you know, it's, hey, you know, they actually, a lot of them go, well, you know, here take this I don't need it and it could be their last blanket yeah. or their last um, I don't know last piece of food or something you know and it is a community out there yeah and 
not being able to have a home for a lot of us is scary. Yeah. Um, They'll never get out, never have that peace. There's peace to a lot of us out mm-hmm. there. Or even another girl that I talked to yesterday that went through a lot of stuff, it's very difficult. And not all of us are drug addicts. No. And my word of advice to everybody is, whether a drug addict or not, at least say hi. Acknowledge yeah. that they're a human being and they're a person. Yeah. Because no matter whether they're on drugs or not, like me, it's yeah. still, we like being treated like we're humans. Yeah. Just because we don't have maybe a job or a house mm-hmm. or, I'm going to tell you though, being on the street is a hell of a lot tougher of a job than anything yeah. else. <laughs> trying to keep your feet above ground, trying to keep your head above water and making sure that you're no gum. I, I tell somebody I'm not a monster. I'm human. I bleed red just like everybody yeah. else. I laugh just like everybody else. I cry just like everybody else. Yeah. We're no different. The only difference is, is that you guys have a place that you can call a home or yeah. house. You know, you have has deemed it. If you're on the street, you're useless. You're a drug addict. You're an alcoholic. You're lazy. Whatever. It's not true. Yeah. Um. I have a hard time working around a lot of people. Now you guys are all, you're still human. What, you're out there struggling. Yeah. But, you know, We're some of you are trying to do your best. And, and you know, if there's more people out there that realize it and stuff and acknowledge us as human beings, even some of us, you know, that those of us that are not on drugs, I see things a different way. I mm-hmm. always have. But this is more eye-opening and enlightening than I've ever had. There's a lot of us out there. We have faith. Yeah. But sometimes that faith dwindles. It's hard when you're, you know, the never-ending, yeah. but... You know. Well, I appreciate you Thanks. offering your insight into your life and... Sorry, I little, I little kind of... It's okay. It's okay. It just gives us an insight into, you know, that's who we're trying to show. People like you who are trying... You know, trying to get an income, trying to get a home. You know, you're yeah. putting in the effort. You're not doing drugs. But it's still hard. Like you yeah. said, it's two steps forward and sometimes ten back. It's hard. So yeah, like a couple weeks ago, yeah. I felt like it was 50 steps back. Exactly, yes. So thank you so much. I hope it helps and never